Good morning. Today is the big day of my surgery. So I'm very excited that I'm finally going to have these toxic bags out of my body and removed. And I actually want to show you guys what I'm going to be taking with me to the hospital. So first I want to show you what my mom made me. We're taking sewing classes together. I used to take sewing classes back when I was um, at Cal State Long Beach. I was actually going to major in fashion design. But I just didn't enjoy staying up till 5 a.m., 6 a.m. the next day, like trying to finish a shirt or or whatever project I was working on, you know, the sewing machine. But I actually do enjoy it. It's just that at that time, I guess I was impatient. But yeah, she made me this kind of like a belt in a way. <laughs> so cute. Whatever fabric was left behind, she used it. That way I can put my drains in here. So... I just tied it around my waist and I added snaps. So if I put this on, I just snap it here. And then voila. They had other things on Amazon too, like the clips to hold them up, but this is better and it's cute. So aside from that, like the important things I need to take, it's um, excuse the noise in the background, they're cutting the grass. Uh, I had to take a medication list and vitamin list. They just want to know what I take like on on an everyday basis, like over the counter stuff, um, any medication. The only thing I actually really use is just my inhaler. So I have to take this too. Um, I do have asthma only like when the weather changes pretty much when it's cold. <laughs> uh, and then the vitamins and yeah, so pretty much I'm going to head on out in a few minutes. And I couldn't eat anything past midnight. So I just made sure that I drank so much water yesterday. At least like, I think I drank a good 10 cups. I had a very scary experience the first time I got surgery when I actually got the breast augmentation. I was so dehydrated, I couldn't find the vein to put the anesthesia in me or the IV, one of those two, because I know they put the anesthesia in there. Yeah, I think the IV, my bad. And they couldn't find a vein. Normally they put it like right here and they couldn't find it. They were like literally trying to find a vein all over my arm, even like on my leg. And they finally found it like in here somewhere. It was, um, it was very traumatizing. So I think the only reason why I'm a little scared today is just because of that. I don't want to go through that same experience of just getting poked everywhere. And I just knew I had to stay hydrated. Uh, other than that, yeah, I'm pretty much prepared. I also have this cool little breathing thing. I don't really know the name of it. Um, but I know after surgery, you have trouble breathing just because you feel so much pressure on your chest. So I have this. It was actually my mom's and um, she bought an extra one. So I have this by my bed stand. And then I also have facial towelettes because I was reading that your skin does get super oily. And um, that way I have this next to me just in case I feel too oily and too sore to actually wash my face, you know. So yeah, then I have like the prescribed medication that I have to take with me in case. Um, and then pretty much I just have the paperwork here, you know, with COVID, they send it through email. Um, and I still have to fill a lot more paperwork at the hospital once I get there. But pretty much it does say that your greatest discomfort will be in the first 24 to 48 hours after your procedure. And if I do have pain, then I should take the prescribed pain medication or Tylenol, depending like on the pain level and eat fruits and veggies and drink plenty of fluids as well. Um, and then I showered this morning too, because I just want to feel clean, but obviously I couldn't use anything with like a heavy fragrance. So I used a dial soap bar and yeah, but pretty much after 24 hours after my surgery, I can take a shower, but carefully because I have to make sure that I don't get the chest area wet where I have the incisions and the drains. Uh, let's see. And to make sure that I'm up and walking, moving around the first night after surgery. I was reading though that when I do remove my drains, like in a week, that that's when you feel the most uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to say pain wise, but I think you're just like very sore and you just feel like crap. Um, hopefully that's not the case with me, but I'm prepared. So I make sure to mentally prepare myself for whatever may come. Then of course I have the drain log here to just, uh, keep track of 
how much fluid is coming out and the time of day and how many times I cleaned it out and stuff. And yeah, so pretty much, you know, right here I have the informed consent. It pretty much covers like all the scary things you do not want to know about or hear about. But I think going into surgery, you're pretty much like open-minded and know like the heavy risks. Uh, but other than that, I'm just very excited that I'm going to remove my breast implants and I'm just looking forward to being healthy and, you know, being on this new healing journey. So other than that, I'm actually going to put everything away now and start heading out. Oh, but I do want to tell you what I am taking for the car ride. A neck pillow, um, a blanket, <laughs> and then another pillow in case just to like hold on to. I'm a very cuddly person, so I feel like I have to hold on to something. And I do have socks in my bag, just in case I do get cold. And then a water bottle as well. So I cannot drink anything right now. I'm a little hungry, but it's okay. Other than that, I will see you guys at the hospital. And hopefully I'm allowed to record a little bit or maybe when there's like no one around. <laughs> Other than that, see you. guys this is day one of my post explant surgery um i'm in bed right now uh i couldn't actually film yesterday at the hospital because the moment i walked in i was already filling out paperwork and then once i sat down um they called me to the back to you know to go change use the restroom they did um pre-op work uh what else and yeah, I changed. Um, they gave me comfy socks. And then they had to take my blood pressure. And other than I think I just waited like an additional third, like, no, I want to say like 40 minutes to get the surgery. The nurse came in to talk to me. Um, then the anesthesiologist came in to talk to me as well. And yeah, once I was in the surgery room, oh yeah, and my doctor, who is Dr. Elliot Hirsch in Los Angeles. Um, he came in to speak with me, to mark me up. And um, I was very happy yesterday just to get them out and I'm happy today. I feel great. I feel a little sore. Well, I guess it's like a heavy soreness on my chest. Um, and my back is just in pain. I haven't taken the pain medication because I feel like I'm fine without it. But if I feel like I need it later on, then I will go ahead and take one. Other than that, I'm just here resting, um, trying to walk a little bit around the house, making sure I'm staying hydrated. And yeah, my face is actually very oily right now. So I do have these organic face wipes next to me. I also have um, this like breathing device uh, just to make sure that I'm able to breathe correctly which by the way I feel like I can breathe so much better even like my skin and under eyes are clearing up my eyes are brighter my dark circles are going away I already feel the difference my beauties the heel is real so if you're thinking about Getting an on block uh, slash total capsulectomy surgery, go for it. Trust me, you're going to feel 100% better. So right now I'm just going to rest up and then I'll follow up with you guys later. And thank you for following my journey. Love you guys. Hey guys, this is day two post-op. And I know I look super oily. That's one thing that you are going to be dealing with. Well, maybe some, but your skin gets so oily. So I have, um, I think I mentioned before, the sensitive face wipes here uh, from Burt's Bees. So I've been using this maybe just like twice a day, like morning and night. Um, right now I'm drinking some green juice because I feel like for day two, my body's not really accepting like heavy food. I feel like a little nauseous. My throat is sore. Um, my anesthesiologist did say that my throat was going to be sore because they do put like a breathing tube. Um, other than that, my chest is very sore as well. Um, I wouldn't say that the pain is like bad. You just feel kind of like uncomfortable. 
Um, other than that, I'm okay. Just a little nauseous too, but I think day two is definitely, definitely more intense than um, day one or like literally hours after surgery. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I may not be um, doing like daily checkups just because I am kind of like sleeping a lot too. But so far, I haven't taken like the pain meds today. I did take um, one yesterday in the morning and then like another one towards the evening. I don't really see like it really helped. Um, it was mostly for my back pain. I think that helped my back pain the most. But right now, I'm actually going to go get a heating pad. Maybe that's going to help as well. But let me just show you guys my setup. So, so pretty much, um, I use this little pillow like on the side here for my left arm. I have my stuff here, my drain log. Um, then I have two pillows here. Then I have another pillow on the side. This, like if I'm watching like Netflix um, or anything, but I fall asleep. So then I also have like some books here to read. And then I have a neck pillow as well. So yeah, that's pretty much, I actually put like another um, sheet on top of like my regular sheet just in case like blood spills, not that it has. So yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So today is day four post-op and today I actually woke up with a headache and I felt kind of sick but I think it's just because my body is detoxing and I actually took a shower today. I did take a shower on the, the next day, day one, just a body shower but it was very quick. I just let the water run behind my back and my mom obviously helped me. Today I actually took a shower on my own. So right now I'm just waiting for the sutures to get dry um, that way I can wrap myself again with the ace wrap and yeah, but I just wanted to check in with you guys to let you guys know how I am doing for sure day two and day three I was kind of out of it. I have like some kind of energy and then towards the evening I'm just like so tired But yeah, but I'm just very happy that the toxic bags are out and Right now I'm just gonna relax and maybe catch up on Netflix or read a book and I'll check in with you guys. All right, we made it to day seven, <laughs> one full week post-op and I feel great. Obviously the other days where I wasn't vlogging, I was not feeling my best. I think it was the pain medicine because when I was not taking the pain medicine, I felt good. Obviously I just felt like a little sore up here. And today, this morning, when I woke up, I had very sharp pains, like where I had my incisions. And I couldn't really breathe. It was so hard for me to breathe. Like if I took in a deep breath, it would hurt. So I just, um, I just sat up and was breathing slowly. And then until I felt like that cramp was going away, because it, it actually felt like a cramp. Once that cramp went away, I, um, I actually used this device that i really like a lot <laughs> so i use this and it helps a lot and i also have my asthma pump here nearby but i actually did take the pain medicine last night the night before and then i believe on day two i took it that night i can't really remember uh just because it was mostly for my lower back it was hurting so much since i'm not used to laying down for that long but other than that, I've been feeling good. Um, I know yesterday, it was so weird. Like, I felt so emotional. I don't know if it was a pain medicine or... Um, it was like, I was just crying. And I was going to pick up the camera to record, but it's just... I was like, Ugh, I don't have the energy. And then I just wanted to listen to my body too. I know that a lot of the stories that I read from women or videos that I have seen on YouTube, it's pretty similar. It's like, you feel good, but you're going through these like wave of emotions and um i'm not sure if it's like part of like the whole detox process but i feel good like i wake up with good thoughts i don't feel that exhausted i don't have fatigue uh, my brain fog i can feel that it's improving uh, like little little things and i am gonna make a part two where i'm gonna explain why i got my breast implants why i removed them the symptoms that i was and currently going through but i already know that they're going to improve i can just i just feel it like i know i'm going to improve and yeah and then also if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know 
down below in the comment section and i'll make sure to answer those questions in the next video i'm sure you guys have so many questions and wondering like why i even took them out or even why did i put them in if i was going to take them out and you know i will answer all of that because trust me the same questions you have i have them too and they're in my head and i did a lot of research and i just feel good that they're out of my body i have these toxic bags out and i'm just ready to keep healing and i will be removing the drinks tomorrow but yeah i'm able to stand up straight fully here's a pouch that my mom made me it's so cute i have the drinks in here yeah so i'm pretty sure by tomorrow i will remove them i totally forgot to show you guys so i have these here that my mom i believe she bought them on amazon and pretty much i wrap these around my calves and here's the remote control so can power it up and then there's different levels and then like how i guess the air pressure i don't know but it works and yeah so it's pretty cool i put these around my legs because um with the implants i was struggling a lot with uh blood circulation and numbness so even right now that i'm not fully active actually let me turn this around it helps my blood circulate and especially because I cannot be doing so much physical activity like I do take walks with my mom when we're walking the dogs that's about it uh today I didn't go for a walk because I took a shower today it was so funny like you have to be so creative when you have drains to take a shower um I used uh, a plastic bag from like uh I think it was from Ulta and I just cut it in half, like both sides, and I just like tied it around my waist and I put the drains in there and clipped them. I remember that day one post-op, my mom got like a trash bag as well to put the drains in there. Uh, but yeah, I did not wash my hair, so it's oily. I was able to put it like in a nice bun. And that's about it, but yeah, it's a struggle taking a shower. Like I didn't even shower daily. Like I remember I took a shower 24 hours after my surgery then i believe like two days after that because my hair was so oily and i just couldn't take it anymore but that was a mistake because i was so out of breath and then today i didn't wash my hair it's so oily i will wash it maybe on friday so today is wednesday good morning so today i'm gonna go and get my drains removed so hopefully they do remove them but i actually wanted to show you guys my implants i opened them up last night and i was kind of I don't know how to explain the emotions that went through me. Um, it was kind of like a disappointment. Not because I took them out. Trust me, I don't regret that. I wanted them out already. I just want to <laughs> be done with these toxic things. But so here they are. So this one was on my right breast. And then this one was on my left. Yeah. So here they are. Um, it's actually kind of gross because... When you're actually holding them, I know that when I got my breast augmentation, like you go to the plastic surgeon's office and you're holding up the implants. But I don't know, for some reason, I feel because these were inside of me for five years. And I don't know, the water looks, it's salt water inside. I don't know, it kind of grosses me out. I can't believe I had like literally plastic in my body. And yeah, so these are saline implants. Um, they're the Allergan. Uh, smooth smooth filled implants I believe I have to check um, on the card but yeah so on my right side I actually had they inserted a 420 cc but they filled it up to 450 cc and then on my left they put in a 390 cc but they filled it up to 420 cc so I don't know it looks weird <laughs> um, and they're kind of heavy too so just imagine all that heaviness I had inside of me um but yeah i yeah it's crazy you know i can tell that they were gonna get moldy anyways or something i don't know but it feels weird i just can't believe i have this inside of me and i'm glad they're out so they're gonna be put away and and yeah so i just wanted to show them to you guys and and that's about it. So I'm actually going to leave right now. My mom's going to go take me uh, to go remove my drains. And hopefully they do remove them. And that's about it. So 
I'll check in with you guys after I leave. Maybe I can film a little bit in there. If not, I'll check in with you guys uh, in the car when I'm heading back. And yeah. I'm recording from my phone. I just left my doctor's office. He already removed my, well, the nurse actually remove my drains and he came in and yeah he let me know that everything went well he removed everything i should be getting the pulse stop report within a few weeks he just has to sign it and um yeah it was not painful at all uh you can feel it coming out though but it was not painful at all the nurse did a the nurse did a good job in distracting me um and that's about it she just pretty much said again for the next month uh no lifting, no heavy workouts, um, no dancing, uh, well, because I perform a lot. So I should be, what was I gonna say right now? I was gonna say something right now. Oh yeah, she said that I can just walk around, you know, walk around my block <laughs> when my mom's walking the dogs. And that's about it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for part two. Bye.